Good morning. Today is the 11th day of uh, May in this 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pretty nice day shaping up outside. Skies are clear. Good old Carolina blue with a little wispy clouds. Uh, temperatures should be in the 70s or so today. So we're looking forward to um, a nice day going forward, going toward the weekend. I uh, hope wherever you are, uh, you're doing well and uh, having a good day. Um, a prayer by Martin Luther. <clears throat> Grant forgiveness to those who have harmed or wronged us as we forgive them from our hearts. They inflict the greatest injury upon themselves by arousing anger in their actions toward us. We are not helped by their ruin. We would much rather that they be saved with us. Amen. A reading from 1 Peter in the second chapter. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He had committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your soul. The word of the Lord. In a devotion by Luther following Christ's steps. As God's servants, we should impress on our hearts that we should be ready and willing to suffer what comes our way because Christ did so much for us. We should think along these lines. Though completely innocent, my Lord served me and gave his life for me. Why should I refuse to serve him in return? He was entirely pure and without sin, yet he humbled himself, shed his blood, and died, wiping out my sin. Shouldn't I also suffer a little bit if this pleases him? Whoever thinks about Christ's death without feeling moved must be made out of stone. For if a master walks ahead and steps in the mud, it's only reasonable for the servant to follow him through the mud. So Peter says, to this you were called. To what? To endure suffering as Christ did. Peter is saying, if you wish to follow Christ, you must not argue and complain very much when you are wronged. You must endure it and even forgive it. Remember that Christ suffered everything for you even though he was completely innocent. He didn't appeal to justice when he stood before his judges. In the same way, you should set justice aside and say to yourself, Thank you, God. I am called to endure injustice. Why should I complain when my Lord didn't complain? And let us pray. Lord, you asked some difficult things of us. Difficult in terms of how you have called us to follow in footsteps that are so large we could never fill them. Yet you have showed us your pathway and that even in times of difficulty and suffering that there are reasons that we might endure the same as you did for our sake. So we may model and set an example for others for a pathway that leads not to hatred not to bitterness, those things that destroy our world, but a pathway that may lead to a more perfect peace and a more perfect way. Help us to grow and learn from our times of difficulties. Though they will never be as grave as yours, we sometimes do muddle through those things that plague us and cause us harm, but let us grow in our confident trust that you are with us to see us through to the other side. We pray, O oh Lord, for those that suffer far gravely, more gravely than we, for those that suffer from agonies of depression,
depression or difficulties in their walk of life, for those who are filled with anxieties, for those that suffer real neglect in this world, neglect from an economic system that may not be so fair, neglect from those who would bring harm to build themselves up, neglect from the ills of war and hatred that plague many corners of this world, especially the Sudan and Ukraine. Bring peace and bring your own justice to bear in those places and help us be instruments of your peace and your love wherever we are able. Render your hand of healing for those that are hurting and need well-being in their midst for for Nancy and for Linda and Linda and Tom and Nikki and Lisa, for Elaine, for Evelyn and Evelyn, and for each that we come in to your loving care in these moments. For into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.